Mediama in action on Friday uh, against uh, CR Blues that of Algeria, and then Dreams FC are in action on Sunday uh, against Rivers United of Nigeria. Interestingly, both games are at the Babaya Sports Stadium because uh, that's the only stadium that CAF thinks is uh, the CAF has even compromised to to allow us to play games there. So both teams have to play there, and the, the stadium has to host a league game as well. Uh, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a Division One league game. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh God, you know so. That's the, that's the thing. A football country that is so unserious about football infrastructure. I've never seen one. And we have an INSA director that has no clue what it is like to run a sporting facility. Because he's choosing the easy way. And the easy way is close it down to the, to the football clubs and then use it to host Stoneboy and Shaftawale concerts because he thinks that's what pays the money. Go to Wembley and see what they do there. They use it to host concerts, but they've played football there as well why is it not possible to do that concurrently because if you manage the pitch well there should be a way to be able to protect the pitch even during uh, a period when you are hosting concerts but if they host a concert at the Accra Sports Stadium it will take I don't know maybe minimum one month for them to put the pitch back in order because they have absolutely no clue how to protect the grass when they host an event there it's rather unfortunate and people are being paid money your taxes to take care of that facility. How is it not possible to concurrently run events and football? So much so that you have to close football for an entire month. At a sports stadium, sports is now secondary to music and art festivals. It's sickening. It's sickening. And then they'll come and lie because every other month, Electricity is cut to the Accra Sports Stadium because they owe a lot of money. So the money you're raising from the facility, what are you using it for? The toilets at the Accra Sports Stadium are nothing to write home about. If you go to the Accra Sports Stadium and you have a problem with your stomach and you have to use the toilet, good luck to you. If you go there, the seats are so dirty. Why would I pay money? to go to the stadium and have to go and buy handkerchief in addition. It's because that's the only way you will survive the stadium. Otherwise, you come back with your shorts and your shirt and the back of your shirt looking like you went to roll on the floor. It's rather unfortunate, honestly. And this man has been running the, 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 the sports facilities in this country for as long as he has been, and the president doesn't care. Like, it's sickening. Like, I give up. We are not a serious football country. Why should a small club from Dau be going to Kumasi to play football matches in Africa? Why? Why should a club based in Takwa, with all his fan base in Takwa, have to go to Kumasi to play matches? Like, what is this? What is this? We have to decide whether we want to do the football Oh, we don't want to do the football. But this pretense of doing the football, I don't like it. <laughs> We're pretending to be working. Look, but the results and the evidence are there. It's, it's the more reason why we are not doing well. And uh, Look at we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep blaming at the little things. But the, 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 the broader picture is the, the, the picture that we see, infrastructure, development, school sports. Management. Admin, management. All of that is broad. And... When we, we, we normally say football, but it's, it's, it's general. No, it's, it's everything. Everything. I mean, athletics, struggling. We don't have a proper... We don't have a, a track. We don't have a track. We have a Not track, the whole country. We don't have a proper track. We don't have a certified track. A certified that? track, which, which, which if our athletes run on, the times are valid for them, for, for their times. It's, so, yeah, it's, it's, I feel your frustration. Man, <laughs> let's move it on, because I, I can't take this anymore. Like, it hurts. That a club from Takwa, and they had to build their own stadium. And thanks to Goldfields for what they are doing for Mediama Sporting Club. Hopefully, when they finish that stadium, Mediama can play their matches at home. The government has not helped in any way; they've not contributed anything whatsoever. Um, you know, and that's rather unfortunate. And I'm not blaming one particular government; obviously not. Mediama has been in existence how long? Yeah, for a very long time. The Accra Sports Stadium has been there a long time. Kumasi, same thing. And these facilities are nothing. Cape Coast is newly built in 2016. It doesn't qualify to host 
calf competitions. The moment calf raised their standard, small, even black stars can't play there anymore. When there was no club licensing, and they were compromising every day, Cape Coast, every day, Cape Coast. Now that the, 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 the requirements are stricter, Cape Coast doesn't even qualify anymore. Yeah, I can, by, by next year or so, Kumasi will be No, Kumasi doesn't qualify. Every year, they keep, they, they they keep, they, they yes. keep rolling out, okay, put this in place for next year. We are flexible. By next year, I'm not sure Kumasi, uh, Baba Yara Sports Stadium hosts. We won't have anything. Uh, we have to go to Benin. To go and play matches there. In a very nice facility. They have, yes, they have an excellent facility yeah, yeah. in Benin, in Kotonu. You understand me? It's good for journalists, isn't it? Journalists will have to travel. We're not, big, we're not, big we're, up not. <laughs> <There's>, uh... <laughs> we're not. We're not a serious country. We're not a serious Why should. Why? It makes no sense. Honestly, anyway, let's move on.